While the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series 10 might dominate the gaming news spotlight, PC continues to be one of the best gaming platforms out there. The past few months have seen a variety of high-profile releases, but the coming year looks to be even better. If you're searching for your next big PC game, here are the top 5 PC game for 2023. Street Fighter VI represents the many lessons that Capcom learned from Street Fighter V's rough launch. Its option-rich mechanics and community-centric features make it a fighting game that casual and hardcore players should look forward to. With Street Fighter VI, Capcom finally gives its groundbreaking fighting game series the truly urban feel it deserves. Sure, Street Fighter III, Third Strike dabbled in it with hip-hop flourishes, but Street Fighter VI leans into the aesthetic wholesale with its graffiti-based logo, paint splash drive impact move, arcade-style battle hub, and hub goods shop where you can drip out a custom character. Of course, Street Fighter VI, Price TBD, is more than just a vibe. It introduces several gameplay mechanics tied to the new drive gauge that lets you fight with more freedom than any Street Fighter in the series' history, for creative combat that's as fluid and beautiful as the hip-hop culture that permeates the game. Tower of Fantasy is a 3D, shared-world, action role-playing game played with a third-person view. The player controls a customizable character avatar who interacts with non-player characters and other entities and collects items as they travel around in the open virtual world. The player character can run, jump, sprint, climb, swim, and can equip various vehicles to move around in the world. The character's special movements with the exception of sprinting are limited by a regenerating stamina bar that slowly depletes as they continue in that movement mode. As the player character interacts with the world and the story, they earn experience points which increases their level and improves their combat stats. The Callisto Protocol Players assume the role of Jacob Lee from a third-person perspective. Jacob's health is indicated by an implant on the back of his neck called a C.O.R.E. device. Health can be replenished with injectable packs found throughout levels. Jacob can use weapons to combat enemies, as well as a melee system to dodge enemy attacks while looking for openings to strike and kill them. Both combat styles can be mixed up, providing greater variety when facing enemy types. Jacob can collect and review audio logs during gameplay. A Plague Tale Requiem is an action-adventure game played from a third-person perspective. In the game, the player assumes control of Amicia and must face against both soldiers from the French Inquisition and hordes of rats that are spreading the Black Plague. Gameplay is largely similar to the first game, though the combat system is significantly expanded. Amicia is equipped with weapons such as a knife to stab enemies, a sling that can be used to throw rocks, and a crossbow which allows her to easily defeat armored opponents. Crossbow bolts, throwing pots, and rocks can be combined with alchemical mixtures. In addition to Ignifer and Extinguish, which allows the player to light and extinguish flame respectively, the game introduces Tar, which increases the radius of the light source and can be used to ignite enemies. Cult of the Lamb is centered around a possessed lamb that is tasked with forming a cult to appease the ominous deity who saved the player character's life. The player must launch roguelike-style crusades and venture out into the game's five regions to defeat enemies and grow their following. The world, which is randomly generated and contains roguelike elements, contains resources to gather, perks and weapons to collect, enemies in the form of rival cultists and non-believers to fight, and other animals to rescue. These animals can be indoctrinated into the player's cult. They have appearances that can be changed and both positive and negative traits, which can affect how they act in the cult or how they react to the player's actions regarding the cult.